This is it, Guardian. This is our chance to kill the Undying Mind for good and contain the Vex on Luna. The portal works. Zavala and I tested it ourselves two dozen times. That's two dozen timelines where the Undying Mind will never return. Still, hundreds, thousands more timelines remain. It will take all of us working together to stop this. Gather your fire team. Fine-tune your loadouts. It's time for us to do what we Guardians do best. Get in there and fight. These nightmares won't stop. They'll use our every trauma against us. Last time we faced the Undying Mind, the Vex were trying to seal the Garden and resurrect the Black Heart. The object of their worship. Darkness incarnate. I wonder if that's still the case. Or if the Pyramid forced a change of priority. There are hundreds, maybe thousands of copies of the Undying Mind lurking in the network. The only way we'll put an end to the Vex incursions on the moon is by destroying every last one. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. This fight is just step one. Ikora's portal should wrench the Undying Mind from wherever, when ever, it might be hiding. Be ready. Once the beacon is deployed, there's no turning back. Great work, Guardian. That's one undying mine down. But there are still a great many more left to go. Fortunately for us, we're not alone in this fight. Dark, dig, and dig. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. Today I'll be going over why the undying mind is probably one of the worst and when I mean worst, I mean worst season buildups that we've had. It's literally just an overdone Vex offensive that I don't really care for. So I thought that, you know, maybe there is some secret little mission or little, you know, dialogue like I showed you in the beginning of the video. So what I did is I went to Ikora and talked to her. As I talked to Ikora, I realized that there was nothing there. So I went to go talk to Eris Morn and see if she had any dialogue or any little things at all. All she had was the usual lore, whispers in the dark that she likes to give me. I thought that was completely useless. So I'm like, okay, what else can I do? Check the quests. As usual, there's the one thing that I haven't done for the Xenophage. And then I kind of moved on. So what I did is I went to the Vex offensive, or sorry, the Vex uh, overlord public event and decided to do that because maybe there's some secret little quest or new drop or something like that that I can get my hands on and after going to Archer's line and thoroughly thoroughly clearing every single Vex gate lord there during the public event I came to the conclusion that there was nothing so I was like okay I'm gonna do another one of these and then I'm gonna try to get a Vex overlord which the video will be coming out on how to summon those in well tomorrow actually so as I did this I you know cleared that and we got the Vex overlord to spawn once we went over to the Vex overlord we proceeded to just lay into him as we usually would. Didn't take no time at all. He's usually, usually the Vex Overlord is a little bit of a bullet sponge, but we kind of had no problems with him as we just kept laying into him with our grenade launchers. Luckily, we had a blueberry that had a tether. Thank God, because I'm getting sick and tired of being paired with players that have no idea what they're doing. As we continued to kill that, when the boss finally dropped its chest, I finally realized that there was nothing here. So I thought to myself, what else can I do? What else in the game could lead to the Undying Mind actually having something in it that makes the season build up worth it? So I went back into the Vex Offensive and we were greeted with this little cutscene, or dialogue, as I, would, I, as I should say. There's an Undying Mind skulking around the Vex Gate network. Let's knock it out of warp and take it down. And that was it there. So I'm like, okay, maybe if I fight the Vex Mind, or sorry, the undying mind we can finally get to uh you know a little cutscene i'm literally waiting for a cutscene that's all i'm doing i want to see what the weeks and weeks of build up for this 
bloody battle is finally going to ensue. Literally, I summon the Vex Mind as we usually would do. You know, we're fighting the Undying Mind. I'm taking cover from my little hidey spot down here, and then I realize that my, my, my Leviathan's Breath is literally useless. I can't even talk when I say Levi Leviathan's Breath. Oh my god. You know, I'm like, okay, this thing's like a pea shooter. And after being killed numerous times by Harpy Seekers again, and again, and again, we finally go into the final phase of the Undying Mind's health pool after a full rotation of the map because the people I was with, you know, I wasn't much help at all, but the people I was with weren't using the right loadouts, as it was I, but whatever. So as we fight him, no cutscene only crappy dialogue that we've heard before and that's it i'm fairly disappointed by bungie at this. i cannot believe that they tried to literally pull the wool over our eyes you know the season's not done yet but the undying mind just became a crappy public event when it was an amazing strike back in destiny one unfortunately we don't even get the imago loop either i cannot believe this this has been terrible and it's unfortunate that Bungie had to bamboozle us like this, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. This has been me trying to figure out if there's anything else in the Undying Mind release. You guys know now that there isn't. So you can either do it, not do it, if you're still on the fence about playing Destiny 2. Honestly, only reason I play it is because I still somehow enjoy it after being fooled by so many attempts at Bungie trying to fix stuff and it's it's just starting to get really demoralizing and ridiculous but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on another video do me a favor like comment down below what you think of this subscribe if you're new and as always guys have a great day